Okay, so today we're going to do an enzyme experiment, and the substrate, or the reactant that we're looking at, is abbreviated BAPNA. It has this big, long name to it, but the important parts are this here, arginine, which is an amino acid. And this is a synthetic um, compound which um, has a pigment attached to it. Now when these two are bound together, the solution that it makes is colorless. And we actually have some of that here. All right, so you can see the starting point, it's just clear. When we add trypsin, which is an enzyme found in the pancreas which helps digest things like proteins, um, into amino acids, it will actually break this bond here. And um, that then splits it into its two parts. So you have arginine, your amino acid, and now the uh, pigment, which turns yellow in solution, is free. And so we can then detect how much work, essentially, this trypsin is doing by how much of the pigment that we see. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so what we're going to do in this experiment is we have a spectrophotometer, uh, a light spectrophotometer, that is able to measure then different lights, different wavelengths, and the, the color that um, our pigment is going to churn is yellow, like we mentioned before. So the first thing that we're going to put in here, we already have in here, is a buffer and some salt. And essentially, this is going to be provide the conditions um, in which trypsin will work the best. So this has already been discovered and worked out. Um, we are then going to add different amounts of our substrate, which is BAPNA, and trypsin, which is our enzyme. So for each of our cuvettes, we are going to add a buffer and a salt which gives us that ideal concentration for the reaction. And then we're going to vary the amount of enzyme and substrate. So the first one, we'll do our baseline 30 microliters of trypsin with 150 microliters of BAPNA. In the second trial, we will double the trypsin while keeping the substrate the same. And then our third trial, we will go back to our 30 microliters of trypsin and then double the substrate. So this is our cubettes. We've got the buffer and the salt in there. And now we're going to add the substrate and enzyme. In the end, this is what it looks like. You can see these are all the times we messed up. Um, but you can see that it's very yellow. Okay, so Annie just put in the BAPNA and the trypsin. And she put it in the uh cuvette and into the spectrophotometer which is now interfacing with our iPad and collecting the data over time. So let's we're gonna have, let this go for five minutes and we'll record it and, and show you.